still hanging out here in Africa. I don't think I'm ever going to leave. I don't know when America will see me again. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Look how many fish. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Look at that. Wow. Look <laughs> They're so pretty. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to the Atlanta Bell. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. If you're a subscriber, if you've been watching my videos, thank you so much. And Kenya, big up, big up, big up. I see how you guys have been viewing my videos and I really appreciate it. So today we're at a seafront restaurant called Charchoma in Mombasa. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, you would see in the beginning of the video, you can see the meats were raw because there's a section you go to and you pick the meats that you want. They do grill them. They have fish, seafood, lots of selection. The only thing that was disappointing to me was that the fish was filet. Now I'm Jamaican, I don't know about you, but I want my bones in my fish, I want my head on my fish, I want my tail on my fish, you know, I want to see eyes, I want to see eyeballs. So um, that was disappointing because this is Africa, man, I give me my old fish, I don't want filet, but um, I went ahead and I got the lamb choma, so I think lamb chops and they... Um, did it choma style choma means smoke slash grill so that's what i got and um look at this guys look at this right here i'm trying to decide where i want to sit i was spoiled for choice oh the views were beautiful and one thing i love about mombasa so much is the weather it's really perfect it's like spring with summer but still just warm you know so um Ricky is with me, you know, Ricky is my tour guide here, he's my everything, he's been so wonderful. I will put his information in the videos, so whatever videos you watch and you see Ricky in it, then just look in the description, you'll see his Airbnb information and his contact information. Again, he can be a driver, he can be whatever you need here. Like them? You like jet skis? Yeah. Ricky, you have to say hello to the fans. Hello, hi guys. <laughs> so my meal just arrived I ordered ugali traditional vegetables shoma lamb chops and my favorite drink as you all know dawa this is so nice guys I'm in Mombasa Kenya Kenya is amazing, amazing, amazing. Still hanging out here in Africa. I don't think I'm ever gonna leave. I don't know when America will see me again. I love it here in Africa. Love it. It's just too much fun here. I can't leave, too much fun. Beachside, Mombasa, Kenya. Still with Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> <It's indeed. laughs> yeah, this is the life you guys are missing in Africa. I keep telling you, Africa is the future. You guys should come to Africa. So after we ate and hung out a bit, uh, this is when we're leaving and I was just wanting to show you guys around what it looks like during the night. So walk along with me, have a look, feel free. I didn't know it was so big. You want us to get you? And the music was really jumping it was a real vibe like on the rooftop it was just a real party lit vibe so now it was time to head back and uh ricky and i were talking about crime so what kind of crime do you have robbery, robbery? Yeah. like home invasion they break like, uh, they can steal your phone 
Oh, like, like Nairobi. Yeah. So, so if you're walking with your phone, they can snatch it? And then, um, yeah, yeah. They snatch it out your hand? Yeah. And then Ricky wanted to show me this lounge called the Kingston Lounge. And we had planned to go here um, one night, but it didn't quite work out. I had other priorities. And so maybe when I come back, I'll go. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so excited. We're heading to Diani. Come with us. This is CBD. Oh, this is the CBD in Mombasa. Okay commercial district now we're heading to old town you want us to pass by there old town or we just head straight yeah we head straight I get to go to old town that one. Okay. Yes. So we arrived at the ferry crossing and it was a long wait. Oh my gosh. If you're ever trying to go to Diani and you're driving, be prepared for the long ferry wait. But we got on the ferry eventually and it was eventful to say the least because i thought that it was going to be a very long ride but we were there in like a split second and i love coconut so on the drive when we were in diani we saw these kids selling coconuts so i stopped by to get some and they were so good the only thing they don't have a lot of water in it um but the water is very sweet very delicious so we just um had some coconuts sat by the roadside a little bit chilled you know it was such a fun road trip i'm telling you guys ricky is so much fun you have to have to do mombasa and diani with ricky he's honest trustworthy just a good guy so then we continued to drive and it is so scenic we went through so many different areas uh this is a bit in the town part of diani now where we're at and we're just driving uh, to get to our destination. It was fun. Looking at back at it now, so much fun. Oh, okay. You see these? I didn't see them from the top. <laughs> Mahogany Lounge. You want to play pool table? Mm -mm. Look at. <laughs> <laughs> This resort is very big and it has a lot of nooks and crannies, so to speak, you know, just lots of secluded areas where you can go off by yourself, read a book, work, relax, unwind. It's, yeah, it gives that vibe where you get away from everything. There's many areas where you can just go and, and chill out. So come along with us, I'll continue to give you a tour of this beautiful, beautiful resort and stay tuned because coming up after this is the other resort and that one is also beautiful, it's just breathtakingly beautiful. But uh, let's continue to vibe around this one and uh, just look around. I hope you're having your dawa. If you're not, oh, look at the monkey. Oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it when I saw this monkey. So I had to pull out my camera really quick. There it is. Do you see it? It's right over there. It's sitting down now. Oh my. Yeah, so as I was saying, I was saying, I hope you're drinking your dawa. I don't know why I love that drink so much, but I absolutely love it. And I've been told that here in Kenya, it's used for medicinal purposes. Like people only drink it if they're sick or if they're feeling sick. I don't know why. I mean, you should be drinking it every day to boost your immune system. It's tasty. It's good for you. Drink your dawa. 
Okay guys, so this is the resort that I was telling you to stay tuned for. This one is Southern Palms. Southern Palms is extremely beautiful. It's just breathtakingly beautiful. But um, come along, come along, feel free. Walk with me as I let you see this beautiful resort ricky is with me again as always you know he's my tour guide my tour buddy my everything here in the coast of kenya he's such a godsend i'm so grateful but um so you can see around the resort this one is also family friendly lots of kids were here lots of families um the staff is extremely friendly extremely helpful there is an array of different nationalities here, different races. Um, I saw lots of Indians and uh, lots of Caucasians and lots of my people, lots of us, lots of black people were staying here as well. So when you get a chance and you do come to Diani, I would recommend uh, this resort. It was my favorite. It, the beaches, the sand, you will see as we walk more and go out a bit further, the sand here is pristine. When I say pristine, I mean just clear, white, soft, warm on the feet, uh, man. And uh, you'll see, I'm talking a lot, I know, but I'm um, just excited every time I watch my videos so I'll make these videos and you know I go home and I'll put them together and every time I watch them back and this security guard he was so helpful he was really friendly he's my little buddy um but as I was saying when I make these videos and I do go back to do you know the editing and things like that I'm just reminded of how beautiful the place is. Look at this, guys. Look at this. When you're walking towards that water, look at that. Do you see what I mean? Heaven. Literally heaven. Heavenly. Just beautiful. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Gorgeous resort. You see that? Look at the color of that sand. Look at the water. Look at that, guys. Southern Palms. Beautiful, beautiful resort. So when you do go to Diani, this would be my top choice. I'm not sure about any other resorts that they have. You know, I only did these two. But uh, Southern Palms is a gem, an absolute gem. Absolute gem, absolute value. Well, well run everything about it i have no complaints no complaints at all there are so many sports you can do here as well lots of water sports um let me see jet skis uh camelback riding um i don't remember all of the water sports to be honest because i really didn't do any of them uh, and so I really can't list them, but they have a lot of water sports and you can go on the website as well to see for yourself what they offer. Now, as far as the camels go, <laughs> I'm thinking I probably should have done the camel ride. But oh my gosh, those things are tall. You know, on TV, you don't really get to take it in how tall they are and I was a bit fearful, you know, I don't know. I mean, people don't really fall off them, I know. Maybe next time, maybe next time, but I, I didn't do it this time. But aren't they beautiful? Beautiful camels, beautiful place. Look at that. Just an all-round gorgeous, gorgeous resort. And they had these. So if you're getting married, you know, you can do it here on the sand. All right, and that is it for this one, folks. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and subscribing. And as always, you know my slogan, I hope you dance. See you on the next one.